Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. So if you want to see how this product works, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm in the middle of filming a video on my eyes, so ignore that. But this is the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation Oil Free Anti Shine and Satin Finish. Um, I got it from I got it from Alta. It retails for sixteen dollars. It is 0 .90 fluid ounces. So normal foundations are typically about one fluid ounce. So it's a little bit shy of that. It is in a glass bottle, but it does also come with a pump. The weird thing I thought is this is the packaging when I bought it at the store. There's no box, there's no seal, so I don't know that nobody else has used it other than pumping it's not coming out, which tells me nobody's used it, thank God, but other than that, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> so, I bought mine in the shade 40F, 40NF, which is like their fairest shade, and it, on my hand doesn't look like it's going to match me, but it was the closest. I'm a warm undertone, but extremely pale. So the first warm shade is a fair light shade, which is too dark for me. So that part sucks already. All right, I'm on Alta's website, so I'm gonna read the claims. So it's supposed to give you a flawless cover with 30 shades. It's supposed to be real skin tones. Um, this dermatologist tested, goes on smooth, covers pores and supposed to last throughout the day. It's silicone free, paraben free, falsate free, talc free, a bunch of things, drying alcohols, blah, 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 blah. So the ingredients are hydro... Oh my gosh. Hyaluronic acid, which supports skin moisture. Coconut water helps with balancing. And rose leaf extract, which is an antioxidant property. Immediate results. Wow, they have a lot on here. <clears throat> Flawless, seamless coverage. Skin feels clean. More radiant, healthy-looking skin. Pore-free appearance, appearance and vibrant. Last day to night. After six weeks of use, your skin is supposed to look healthier and feel smoother, and that's all it says. So it doesn't say anything about the coverage. So I'm slightly worried because it does say clean foundation, so in my head when something's natural, it's less pigmented. So I guess we'll see. Um, I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer as my base. Um, so it lasting all day would probably work just because of this primer. So I'm not going to look at that aspect of how long it lasts. I'm just going to look on what it looks like on my skin after hours. Just suck. I'm kind of starting this late. So it's already 4. So I'm going to have to do my check-in pretty late at night. It's fine. Alright. Now that that's on, I'm going to let it sit a little bit because this primer likes to get tacky. So for this foundation, I'm actually just going to use a sponge because that's all I really use anymore. So this is the Morphe... I don't know. It's the Morphe sponge. I don't think it has a name. I'm going to pump this just on the back of my hand. Alright, maybe it might match. Ooh. Ooh, that's pale. Okay. I'm going to have to bronze the fuck out of myself. I suppose I could take it back. Oh my gosh. It's just like when I wear foundations like this, like I am pale, okay? And my color balancing is having a problem now. <laughs> but when I do foundations like this, I can really see my olive undertone compared to the foundation. Which is annoying because I can't find any brand who makes an olive shade as pale as I am. They make them, but not as pale as I am. Oh, my ghost! <laughs> okay. This is so weird. Most foundations are too dark for me. Okay, so I just did my normal two pumps, which is what I typically do. This is what it's looking like so far. I can still see my redness peeking through where it typically peeks through. Oh, I got it on my hair. So I'm going to go ahead, do another pump, and I'm actually... <clears throat> I'm going to take my flat definer or flat foundation brush. That's what it's, this is what I typically do when a foundation lifts easier or doesn't cover my red spots. So I'll take this and just brush it 
in those specific spots, which for me is this area and then this area on both sides, but one side's worse than the other. Put a little on my chin, a little in some zit areas, and I do have some left on my hand, so basically for me right now it's coming out as two and a half pumps for me to use. It's so crazy, when I pump this onto the back of my hand, it looks like it's gonna be a little light, but not this light. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go take this back if I like it. It's just, just too much, too much, too much. Let's go ahead and blend out. It doesn't smell bad. I didn't mention that, huh? Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have a really not much of a fragrance at all. So I can still see my redness. It's not as intense. So I think I would just say this is a medium, light to medium. Honestly, more on the medium side because light foundations don't cover as much as this did cover for me. So I'm gonna say it's more on the medium side. Let me zoom it in so you can see what it looks like as of right now. Come on, color fix. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Oh, there's a freaking hair. Got it. Pat it up. Pat it up. Oh, you see this? What is happening? I just went back with stuff still on this to pat it out, and it's like picking it up and pulling it. And then making weird streaks and patches. What is going on? Oh my god. It's doing it everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, nope. We're starting over on this side. So, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's funny. Ignore the redness. When I take my foundation off, it tends to irritate it. Okay, I'm just going to try to cover this again. I don't know what happened. It almost looks like it dries and then you can't touch it, even with more product. Okay, let me zoom you in real quick again. How do I do that? Okay, so I've attempted to fix it. Um, just like, I can see everything. I can see all my pores, like any little line I have here, it's clinging to, which I like never have a problem with. Oh my God, I look like an old lady. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you back out. Uh, I, actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll come right back. Okay, so now that my makeup is done, I don't really like this foundation. I'm still gonna leave it on, see if it gets better. As of right now, it's still showing all of my creases, and I don't normally have this problem. It's making me look older than I am. It's definitely clinging to dry areas. So I'm going to go about my day, and then I will come back and check in at the end of the night. It is already 4 o'clock right now, so I'm not getting a huge head start, but yeah, I will see you at the checkup. Okay, so this is my check-in. It's about 9 o'clock at night, so I've... so I've had this on for about 5 hours, and... Uh, can you see this? <laughs> like, this looks disgusting. So, safe to say, I don't recommend this, and I'm actually going to go take it back tomorrow. Because this is five hours, and I need makeup to last nine hours to make it through work. So, <laughs> yeah, well, that sucks. I guess I'll... I really wanted this to work, but it didn't. So yeah, that is all I have for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.